Tajikistan and Lebanon have got it all to do over in Group A as both sides face elimination heading into the final matches. What's going to go on? We're going to take a little look next. That's right, folks. Back once again with another prediction video today. We're forward to match number three. Of course, over in Group A with Lebanon and Tajikistan both staring at the exit door. Who's going to come out on top? We'll take a look in a second. Of course, big big shout out to my VIPs. They are the patron tuner who you are. And again, if you're new, smash the L, subscribe. Let's get into it then. Looking forward to this one. Of course, uh, it's 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 a such an evenly poised match that it could go either way. Uh, but of course, it is Tajikistan, it is Lebanon coming at you on the 22nd of January. That's right, of course, at the Jasmine Bin Hamad Stadium. That's right. Now, these two sides, of course, are locked in a bit of a battle over in Group A. Uh, but they qualified to Tajikistan as third round Group F winners way back on the 14th of June 2022. It's their first ever tournament, their debut. They've never done anything before this. Uh, but Peter Segret is your manager. The star man at the moment is Rastam Yumatamov. 150 to 1 to go the distance. I do have them facing the exit door at the group stages. That was, of course, pre-tournament. They come into this on the back of uh, uh, just one draw uh, out of the first two matches. Uh, no goal scored by Tajikistan, which is a major problem, especially in this group. In fact, the only team that has scored is Qatar. Goodness gracious me. It's quite a, quite a bit of an embarrassment for the rest of these nations. But they did lose to Qatar. Also got a man deficit with, it, with of course, uh, that game. So it did make it a much, bit of a, an uphill tally for them. But they come into this with one point a win will sh should should be enough for them to go through as possibly runners up in this in this group um however a defeat or a draw uh has them facing the exit door or at least it might even leave a team with just two points as runners up that's absolutely crazy we'll see what happens of course take a look then at the squad then of course squads on the left hand side with yatimov nazarimov duzumarov kubinamekov sadamov jobariov panchanabi umbrimimev Dazmilov, Solyov and Samyev, of course. Everyone knows it's a Tajikistan a starting level. Let's take a look at then, of course, Lebanon coming at you as second round Group H runners-up. They qualified on the 15th of June 2021. It's their third tournament. 2019 was the last, but they've never, ever made it out of the group stages. Midjag Radulovic is your manager with Dandran Lajud, your star man, of course. 201 to go in the distance. I do have them also facing the door, uh, the trapdoor. At the group stages, of course. Let's take a look then at the resume for Lebanon, of course, coming at you on that 3-0 opening day loss to the host, Qatar, and the champions, Qatar. Of course, then a 0-0 draw against China gives them a little bit of hope, of course, heading into this match against Tajikistan. A win or a draw will see you qualify. That's it. It's plain and simple, just like that. Let's take a look at the key individuals then for Lebanon. That up between the sticks. We've got Chetu, uh, we've got Zabra, Mansour, Zin there, Haydar, Said, Gianni. El Hewi, Matok, and Lajud up top. Those, of course, are the key individuals. What about, of course, the numbers between these two sides? Now, these two sides never, never play each other, according to my eyes. Uh, but, of course, Tajikistan coming in it's on 67% form, of course. Just uh, one defeat in the last six. Meanwhile, Lebanon on the flip side, just one win in the last six games. 42% form for them heading into this one. Of course, Tajikistan's pre-build up to this tournament was a 2-1 loss. A 2-1 win, sorry, over Hong Kong. Big wins against Pakistan and Hong Kong heading into this. But... Just the one goal conceded so far for them heading into this one. Meanwhile, Lebanon on the flip side, coming into this on the back of a 1-0 loss to the Saudi Arabia at the start of the tournament. Then that 3-0 loss to Qatar. But then picked themselves up with that 0-0 draw against China. But what about the public vote? We'll get to the public vote in just one second. The bookies have uh, Tajikistan 23-20 for the actually 11 4 is the Lebanon. 21-10 is the draw. The public vote, though, goes in favour of Tajikistan. 56% uh, of the vote uh, for those guys. Lebanon gets 30% and the draw is at 14% uh, between these two sides, of course. So, according to this and the bookies, Tajikistan should walk away with the big fat victory here. I think it's a t it is one of the hardest games to call uh, because no no teams none of these two teams seems to score a goal here. Uh, both come into this on the back of uh, 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 just the one draw out of the first opening game. So tight one to call. I am going to nick it though to Tajikistan. There's enough quality in the bag to get that one and only. There's a decisive one factor in this match to get it, whether it be a penalty, whether it be a, a set piece. Whatever, they make those moments count. And unfortunately, that was both the end for Lebanon. It would, of course, then push Tajikistan into the, the runners-up category. And it looks like China could be staring also at the trap door with just two points, depending on what we're doing then in their own game. That's, of course, my take on it, guys. Make sure you give me your own take on it. Of course, we look forward to match number three and the conclusion of those games as we look forward to the round of 16. But until then, subscribe, thumbs up, catch you later for the next one. But until then, we're done.